In this video, we will demonstrate how to create an online lottery request through the Online Responsive Tea Time module on a desktop screen. One of the great features about the Responsive Tea Time module is that making a booking on a desktop or a mobile view works the same way. The process of submitting an online lottery request is fairly similar to booking an online tea time. The difference is you'll actually find a request button beside the time of the lottery. You'll also notice that within the T-sheet itself, it will also have the word lottery, indicating that this is a lottery time slot. In order to look for a lottery time, we can use one of the date tabs across the top, using the left hand arrow and the right hand arrow to navigate through those, or by clicking on the select date and choosing a date out in the future. When you are looking for the time that you'd like to make your lottery request, you do have the ability to navigate through any courses that your club offers, the time of day you're looking for, whether it be all day, morning, afternoon, or evening, and whether or not you want to see all times by default or only those that are still available. To book our lottery request, if we like, we can actually click right on this quick book option. The neat thing about the quick book option is it will allow you to specify the number of players, which will be filled in with TBD players, or it allows you to pick from any existing groups that you've already created. And what that does is it will pre-populate everyone's name from your group directly in your lottery request. The other way to make your lottery request is to click right on that request button. You can change the earliest and latest time you'd like to play by clicking on either one of those drop downs. Below that, you may have an add to waitlist button. Should the lottery be run and you do not receive a time, you can add yourself to the lottery waitlist. Therefore, if a time does become available within your acceptable time range that you specified, you can be slotted in by whoever is managing the T-sheet at the club. On the right hand side, if your club does allow it, you are able to specify the number of groups that you'd like to add to your lottery request. The number of groups that we can add to a lottery request will also be specified by your club. Notice that as the booking owner, so currently we are logged in as Roger Smith, our name is populated as player one, which also means that we are the booking owner. If we click player options, we can go ahead and specify our transportation, caddy, and rental clubs as made available by your club. Once you've specified your settings, click anywhere on the screen and that will minimize that option for you. Now we can go ahead and add other players to our lottery request. First, we can go ahead and add another member by clicking the add member button. From here, it's as simple as typing their name, clicking on their name, and that will add them to their booking for you. Guest works very similar, you can go ahead and click the add guest button. And note here that the first and last name are required. And note that the email address is optional, but what this means is if the club does have email notifications enabled, it means that you will receive an email notification as well as this guest and any other players in the booking that have an email on file will receive an email notification. Then simply click add. If your club has enabled it, you also have the option of adding a TBD player. So all we have to do is click add TBD and TBD is like a filler player. Just note if you are using the TBD options, you can't specify your player options. However, if you have noticed, you can specify that for each one of your other players that are a named participant. Now we already have four players in our group. However, remember if the club has enabled group lottery requests, we could actually switch this over to two and we'll have group one at the top and group two at the bottom. So another way to add players to your lottery request is to click this add buddies and groups button. The buddies and groups option will allow you to pick a player from your existing list of relatives, buddies, or add any existing groups you might have, which will populate those players names into your booking. So for example, maybe we want to add our buddy Steve. So we'll go ahead and click on his name and that will add him to our booking for us. However, at this time, I just want to go ahead and use one group. So I'm going to scroll up, switch that over to one. And now we'll just have our one group. At the very bottom of the booking, 
you may have this option, which states who is allowed to add themselves to this request. Your three options are no one, meaning no one else can add themselves to any open spots within this lottery request. My buddies, meaning that only members that are part of your buddies list can add themselves to this lottery request. Or any member, meaning any member can come in and take any open spots within the lottery request. At the very bottom of the booking window, you do have a notes section, and this area is great to leave any notes that you want to leave for the club. After you've completed all your settings, go ahead and click Submit Request. Once you have created your online lottery request, it will be sent over to the club where it will reside until the lottery is run. If you do receive a tea time through the lottery, you will be notified via email as long as your club has set up email notifications, and within your My Bookings, the request will change from a tea time request over to an actual tea time booking with the tea time that you've been rewarded. Once you've submitted your request, you'll receive a request completed screen. On that screen on the left hand side, you'll notice that you do have details for your lottery request, including the course, date and time, acceptable time range, confirmation number, and players who are part of your request. From here, you also have the option to cancel your booking, print a confirmation, sync to your calendar, send an additional email, or view in my bookings. So let's go ahead and view in my bookings. Clicking view in my bookings will then take us over to our my bookings tab, which will list any same day or upcoming lottery requests that you've put forth. So if we scroll down, clicking on the actual lottery request will take you back into that page we were just in and will also allow you to edit that lottery request. As the booking owner, you do have the ability both to edit and cancel any existing lottery requests. However, if you have been added to a lottery request as another player, note that you only have the option to edit your own personal player options or remove yourself from the lottery request. Now let's actually navigate back to the T-Sheet. When viewing the T-Sheet, you may have a button that says View Existing Lottery Requests. And clicking here is going to show you any lottery request for that specific day. If there are any spaces available within that request, you could actually click on that request and add other players to the booking. Or if you did make the option available where your buddies list or other members could add themselves, they could also click on that lottery request and add to that as well. And that's how you make an online lottery request.